Hey, can you hear me? This is Jessica, for your family coach. Um, and I am live on Facebook. So let's see, who else is live with me? If you're here, even if you're um, watching a replay later on, go ahead and put your, um, where you're from, the name of your dog or your cat, your pets. I'd love to know that. Share some pictures too. I love seeing pictures of your pets. Go ahead and post them in the comments below. Let me know if you can hear me um, because you never know with this technology thing, right? So um, thank you so much for being here in this video. We're gonna be talking about the three D's of dog training. So pretty much for most anything you train with your dog, we're, um, we're talking about the three Ds. So when you train your dog, uh, the first D is duration, second D is distance, and the third D is distraction. So we train in that order. So any cue or any behavior we are um, training, in our dog and for any of you out there um, brave enough to train cats <laughs> I say that kind of jokingly I absolutely know it's possible I just have not done it with any of my cats um, the really only way to do that is also going to be with positive reinforcement and you basically use the same principles of dog training just with cats and you may need to be even more patient with them. However, we're gonna use the three Ds. Anytime we train anything, any type of cue, uh, pretty much anything <laughs> we train, we're gonna use these three Ds and we're gonna train them in order. So the best thing to do, and if you are a member of my online dog training, I really preach this in pretty much every single video, um, every instructional video, we really break every training down step by step. Um, it's easier for you, it's so much easier for your dog. So uh, we're really going to be training anything in like movement by movement, action by action, thought by thought. So if you are looking for your dog, just say you wanna train your dog to sit in between your legs. Um, like if you're in a standing position, and I don't wanna stand, I'll be out of, um, the view for the camera, but you want to train your dog to sit in between your legs. You're not going to go straight for your dog, you know, walking around you sitting in between your legs. You're going to train every step of the way, every step your dog needs to take to walk around you, get in between your legs, sit and look up at you because that's what ultimately what we're doing, no matter what it is we're working with with our dogs, we want them to always check in with us for the next direction, whatever the next thing is that they need to be doing. So we train, first we train duration. So any action or behavior that we train, we train in very close quarters and very like very closely with our dog. We're gonna have them right in front of us and we're going to have them do that action or that behavior and reward it. So we want them to be able to sustain that cue. For instance, if we're training a stay, we're going to train them to stay and we're going to do it in three seconds. Great, you got three seconds down, now we're gonna try six seconds. Awesome, you got six seconds down, we're going to continue to increase that duration. Once we have a, a duration that we're happy with, for instance, we want them to stay for you know 90 seconds before we release them and they've got that down, then we can move on to the second D, which is distance. So we're going to train the same thing. For instance, if we're training a stay, we're going to continue to have them you know, stay where they are, and then we're going to slowly move ourselves, just depending on your dog, foot by foot or inch by inch, you're going to pull yourself away from your dog while they maintain their stay. So we're going to increase the distance between you and your dog. And that's the second part of training with your dog. And then third, once we have the distance down that we want, for example, if you want your dog to maintain a stay when you are on the other side of the street, 
right? If, like, if you have a goal in mind and that's the distance you want your dog to be able to stay, once you get to that point, then we start adding in distraction. So that could be anything from um, yeah, a squeaky toy or a child or somebody walking up to the door or I mean anything at all because distractions are limitless. So we just start adding in one distraction at a time. Once we get your dog acclimated to having that distraction, still being able to uh, maintain that action or behavior that we're asking for, you can add in another distraction. So that's basically what we do. That's three Ds of dog training. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's um, simple, but we don't always remember as pet parents that this, these are the steps we need to take and this is the path that we need to take to be able to get the desired response from our pets, from our dogs. So with that, um, anybody who has a pet, anybody that has a dog, for that matter, anybody that has a cat, I really truly believe because I have both cats and dogs. So I feel like I really put, when I created the seven canine commandments, I wasn't just thinking about dogs. I was also thinking about our cats because really the same things apply to them, even though they're, they're a different species. Um, anybody that has a pet, if you're interested in uh, learning more and being instructed on how to train your dog, of course, I have my online membership. It's a video-based dog training course. You can grab that at thefurryfamilycoach.com. Um, but before you even start that, and anybody who has a pet, even if you're not quite ready to start training your dog, I highly recommend you grabbing my book, The Seven Miracle Steps. It outlines all of my seven canine commandments. These are the things that you absolutely want to put in place in your home to understand how to train your dog. Before you can actually start training, you need to understand how to train. So I highly recommend it. Go grab yourself a copy. I put the link in the description of this video, bit.ly slash canine secrets. Grab yourself a copy. It's like $5 and you, I, I have so many people. I even had somebody email me again today and I was gonna take a screenshot of it and post it because I absolutely love when people email me and they're like, I absolutely love your videos. I love your book. Thank you so much. I had somebody in the Facebook group the other day tell me that, you know, she's been a dog professional for 30 years and she had just gotten out of practice and was getting frustrated with her dogs. She grabbed the book, she read the book, and she is like re-energized, ready to go. And she has been having some really amazing results with her dogs ever since she changed her mindset after she read the book. Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. Grab yourself a copy, you will not be disappointed. The link is in the description. And hey, if you have a question and you would like for me to answer it, Go ahead and comment below. Better yet, go yeah, go ahead and comment below. You can also join the Facebook group and post in there. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to post those pictures of your pets because oh my goodness, I absolutely love seeing them. So go ahead and post them. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.